Welcome everyone, I am back. Today is July the 24th, 2022. We're going to talk about polka dot today and see, can we actually see this cryptocurrency recover or will we see more downside happen in the market for polka dot? Now, before I talk about that, welcome everyone to my channel, to those who are new. If you appreciate it, hit the like button so if you can also subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to learn more about how this game is really being played against us, then I want you all to join the team. Hit the like button, share and also subscribe is how you do it. And as well, if you guys want to learn more about it, go ahead and tap that bell notification because every video that I produce or that I create is opportunity for us to learn to become better at looking at price predictions. All right. So real quick, let's talk about what happened into the market in Polkadot since my last video. You guys can see it. I did a video on June the 21st. So it's been a, a month of us looking for Polkadot to rise up in price and the market has dipped instead. Now you may be wondering, well, could the market actually recover and move back up into our price target area? Because you guys can see that our ultimate TP price is right here around $10. I'm looking for the market in Polkadot to run up to around $10 in this space. Now when I did a video back on June the 21st, we all can see that sellers came into the market in Polkadot right here. Okay. So even though we may be expecting a recovery to occur in the market in Polkadot, we got to keep our eyes open on the 850 price level. That was the last place that the buyers could not take over. So as we see this market in Polkadot try to move higher, we got to keep our eyes open on that level. And even $8, I'll even give $8 a point that we will need to see the buyers take over to as well. Okay. So let's go ahead and see the market real quick on a weekly time frame in Polkadot. And let's see if we're looking for the price to actually increase and to go up because right now I'm not necessarily too concerned with any weakness. I'm not really too concerned with seeing some downside movement in Polkadot. My only thing that I should have done on my last video was I should have lowered our area support, right? The area support that I originally had was around $7. The market in Polkadot really appreciated this level down here. Okay. Right there around $6 and 50 cents. I should have placed our support area down there rather around rather than around seven dollars okay now generally the market in polka is not doing too much i'm not really seeing anything drastic in terms of us seeing the price in polka dot collapse or plumb or anything like that the market buyers are definitely here in place still they're still hovering they're still able to successfully keep price up that's the thing we want to know that's the thing that we want to see is if the buyers are still in this place if they're still at these prices because if they are it's just going to take us long for us to see the market run into our price target area that's all that's it so looking at the chart currently i've already identified areas that we need to keep our eyes open for eight dollars and eight dollars and fifty cents okay let's see the chart real quick on a three-day time frame because you all can see right here on this last completed three-day price bar which is right here this is just a continuation of what happened on the previous three-day price bar that's it this three-day price bar which started on july the 18th 2022 was the start of us seeing the weakness it's the start of us seeing the selling and then on this one the follow-on three-day price bar it's just a continuation that's all so on this current three-day price bar that is forming if we see price in polka dot continue to close higher than the previous two three-day price bars i'm still looking for the market to go up just that simple okay Look at this on the five day chart. This five day price bar is where I'm still seeing that the ability of polka dot to run up is still there. Okay. When I look at all of these five day price bars here, I'm not too concerned with the weakness. It's not the market is not necessarily reflecting that is weak and that is trying to break down. We're, we're definitely seeing buyers in this space in polka dot. So I still think from my price prediction on June the 21st, 2022 is still applicable. It's still accurate. It's just taking the market a while before the buyers can actually lift the price up. All right. So I'm actually going to continue to go forward with my price prediction. I'm not going to change it. I'm still going to look forward to the price in polka dot to move higher. Just literally, I'm just showing you that the market sellers are still mixed in and that the buyers are not that bullish to really move the market into our price target area. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. All right. So what I'm going to do uh, on this particular video is I'm going to go ahead and just extend my prediction. Okay. Let's take it to September and we're just going to let the market continue to work. 
Okay, I'm not seeing too much volatility that would suggest that the price in Polkadot is about to go down or collapse in price. I'm not seeing that. Okay, so what do you all think? How are we looking into the market in Polkadot? Now the price targets, I'm not necessarily sure uh, where my price target were at, but we definitely need to go back and listen to my video which was conducted on the 21st of June. Go back and listen to that and we'll see where my price target were at. Now I'm quite sure I may have a price target at $8.50 right here. So when I did the video on the 21st of June, then yeah, you would get that TP out the market here in Polkadot. Okay. So I'm done. Uh, go ahead and give me your ideas to where you think the market in Polkadot is about to go. I still think we're going to get some upward movement in the market in Polkadot. It may not run up. Like I said, keep our eyes open on $8 and then $8.50 in regards to whether or not the sellers are going to show up. Because if they do, then the market in Polkadot will go a lot lower, especially probably in the month of September and, and August time frames. So I definitely want to make sure I put that on your radar as well, too. So I'm not going to change anything. Uh, to answer the question, could the stock, I mean the stock, excuse me, could Polkadot recover or can we expect more downside? I think there's a limited time for us to see the market move higher in Polkadot. Um, but the long term perspective, like let's keep it real. Let me show it to you before I go. This is the three months chart in Polkadot. Like we're not necessarily all that strong. Look at this three month price bar. There's this is where the downside movement is still here. OK, this is where I'm still expecting. Uh, polka dot in the long term to continue to move to the downside so we don't have that much time to actually see the market recover in polka dot but it's there on a shorter time frame okay that's six months like that's even worse for us to expect the market in polka dot to run up and move high in price okay so i'm done go ahead and give me your idea tell me where do you all suspect the market in polka dot is going to go in the short term, not the long term, short term. I, I'm not talking about three months or six months because I've already shown you how weak the market really looks there. Give me uh, like your price prediction, your price target on a weekly basis. What do you think the market's going to be at after we conclude the month of August? Let's just do that. All right. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.